The beloved Wallace Theater in Leveland is getting an encore. Its marquee sign lighting up tonight for the first time in about 40 years as a sign of things to come. KMX Juliana Washburn there to talk about some big plans for the new Wallace. Brian, the Walls the Theater is just moments away from lighting up their new marquee, their new sign. People are still filing in. You can see a huge group of them just waiting behind me. The roads are closed off for this. A band is playing. And you can tell everyone's just so excited. This isn't just a sign lighting for them. This is a very long-awaited moment. Tonight is the culmination of so many years of blood, sweat, tears, laughter, crying, everything. Years in the making, and soon enough, Levelands Theater will be back. Tanya Moody knows how important this is for the small community. The Wallace is that that place, that piece that is going to really bring everyone together in a place where they can join and feel comfortable, feel warm and feel special and wanted. The original theater, a cornerstone for the small town, but the building closed down in the 1980s. It fell from hard times. Now the building getting a complete makeover with plans for movies, concerts, theater education for kids, and stage plays. Not everyone can afford to go to Broadway, to go to New York City to see plays. We want those opportunities to be accessible to our kids in our community. And so they can say, when somebody says one day, Cats, have you ever seen it? Oh yeah, we saw that at the Wallace Theater. It was Allison Keeling's father who had the dream to bring the theater back to Leveland. Keeling saying this is a big deal for the small town. Today is actually my dad's birthday. And so I can't think of any better way to celebrate his birthday. Keeling telling me it couldn't have been done without donations big and small. From a kid's piggy bank to big corporations like United Supermarkets. Donations totaling over three million dollars. A lot of people thought initially that this project was absolutely impossible, but when people come together and support and work together to do something good, the impossible becomes possible. We're here, we're here, you know, and I want to be able to scream that from the rooftops. Keeling tells me they'll need the community support even after they open. You can do this by giving a donation or even sponsoring. One of the lights on the marquee helps them a lot. And they'll finally open in December 2024. In Leveland, Juliana Washburn, KMAC News.